Alright YouTube, so I'm coming up with a new video. So I recently find out, found out one of, one of the problems in the radiator fan that it would just keep running all the time no matter if the AC is running or not, even if the engine is cool. Uh, even if I cold started in the early morning, it will still run. It will just keep running all the time. So this is what happens, even if I don't turn on the engine, I'll just turn on the system and then I I can I can see I'll see if I can show that the fan would just keep running. So I just disconnected the the engine power. I don't know if I can show that the fan would start. Now the engine is not running. But the fans are running and the uh, video can show sound feel the, the air coming out of the wind the radio fans so I did a research on YouTube and then I found out that there's a problem with uh, the fan control module there it is so I got it from a local store that's the part number I'll show I'll put it in the description the part number is and it was a pain to find this part because it's infinity and in this part of the world it's hard to find the, the spare parts especially for this module so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace it it's an easy job I'll show where the, the module is installed module it's right there this is the culprit it's the bad guy so it's making the fan run all the time no matter what even in the, the winter morning when the engine is cold it will just keep running all the time and blow I don't know it's disturbing and I, I don't like it so I just go ahead and change it it's an easy job I'm gonna open this thing the spare part I'll just show how it looks like it's a genuine OEM part so I'm happy to replace it but the good thing is that uh, there's no Chinese alternative available any aftermarket part but the bad thing is it's really it's not a cheap thing it's, it's really expensive thing to buy so you don't want to replace it this small thing for a lot of money so anyways I'll just uh, show what tools are required it's, it's an easy job we just need, need some basic tools probably a, a flathead screwdriver to open this engine cover and then a wrench I, I don't know what size it is but it this wrench that I have it can literally open the whole car everything I open with uh, in this infinity opens up with this particular tool I just open my small little bag There it is. This is the magic tool that I use, and this is good for literally anything. I mean, I just open the headlights, uh, batteries, anything which is installed in this car can be opened with this. It's a 10 millimeter, so I, I don't usually see the sizes of the, the tools. I just keep trying until. I get the right size so I don't know if the video can show this yeah it's a 10 millimeter range so I'm gonna go ahead and open it so let's see all right so there are two screws that are holding this thing in place and it's hard to, f to make a video and holding the mobile phone with one hand and opening it with the other one and then to show there are three plugs that are connected so I'll unplug them but first I will remove those two screws and then I'm going to replace it with a new one alright so there are three plugs that are holding it they are connected to this device two screws I just disconnected the screws and now I can see there are three plugs so I'll just use this flathead screwdriver to, to unplug those three connectors that are connected 
all right there it is there this is the faulty one i just disconnected it then i'm gonna replace it with this new shiny little boy let's see what how to fix this i'll first connect the connectors and then see if the the fan stops turning and this is not the aim to stop the fan from running it's just the, the aim is to to make it run whenever it's required it's not like it should be running all the time so anyways i'm just going to hook up those connectors and then install it in the, the right place and then i'm going to make the video again so i'm holding one holding my mobile phone with one hand and the and the device in the other all right so i got the the new one in i installed it connected all the connectors and then uh, what, I'll, what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll not run the car for initially i'll not run the car i'll just press this button for two times and see does it behave similar to what it you the old one used to do and and the fans are not running which is a good thing but uh, that's not how i will check that is whether it's working or not so all i will do is i will run the engine and uh, turn on the air conditioning the ac and see what it does it does it blow the fan or it doesn't so i'm gonna put my feet there down there hit this button all right so the engine is running now and still yeah the fans are fans are not running yeah the AC fan is stopped it's still it's not running which is a good thing I don't know if it can come in if it come in the, the camera it show up in the camera but I don't want to put my hand and show that it's running or not. So what I will do is I will turn on the climate control, the AC. There it is. So I can really hear. Now the fan is running. The AC fan is blowing. I can feel the air now. So that's good. So I hope this video helps you guys. One thing that I noticed while I was researching is that the same unit is installed in some other cars as well. So I'll mention the names of those cars so you can, if you, if you are unable to get the same part for an Infinity, you can probably get a similar part for from another manufacturer. So they, they share parts, which is a good thing. But I, unluckily for me, the, the other parts were equally as expensive so i didn't bought hey let me cover let me, let me put this cover right there it is job done that's my q50 i just washed it i have to renew the registration Okay, let's take our tools and throw the faulty paw apart in the, in the dustbin. And that's my way to, to hide the small rock chips. I just hide them with this little stickers. That's, that's all about the video. I hope you it's helpful for you guys and then you like the video just go subscribe it and then if you know if you want to know more about the, the spare part that i installed just write it in the comments and i'll reply to you